Hello. So uh, here's the thing, right? I mean, I, I already have uh, dispersed context paths defined. Um, um, you, you notice from my uh, server.xml uh, file right here, uh, my Tomcat server.xml file right here, that uh, I have uh, logical context paths uh, defined for three dispersed applications. And just just to give you a little background information, the dispersed applications that I'm referring to here are the applications that you pretty much find in your uh, uh, web apps folder. Uh, and in my case, I mean, for illustration's sake, I mean, I only have uh, uh, the JSP UI, uh, OAI, and uh, XML UI uh, uh, um, um, context paths uh, or applications actually defined as with, with context paths in my server.xml file right here. Um, but an, an important note, uh, an, an important point to note here is um, when, when you're actually defining your mappings in the uh, URI uh, uh, worker map dot uh, properties file, which uh, um, remember we created right within the Tomcat uh, config directory. Um, an important point to note here is that uh, you need to ensure that the context paths that you um, provide as the key for your name uh, value pairs that you define in this particular file actually match uh, the context uh, uh, paths that you uh, basically have uh, defined in your server.xml file. In this case, you notice that uh, my XML, my forward slash XML, uh, uh, forward slash JSP UI and forward slash OAI uh, uh, context paths actually uh, match with uh, some of uh, these default mappings that I basically uh, uh, I basically uh, defined here, um, and so um, another point to note is that I'm I'm actually uh, assigning uh, this particular context path to uh, uh, a Tomcat wake up process uh, that was basically defined. Uh, in this workers dot properties file, it's basically just a process. I mean, you'd, you'd you'd have to read up a little bit more uh, in the reference documentation to find out exactly uh, why you'd want to define more workers um, as your load or um, increases, as your server load increases, or the number of hits to your uh, application actually increases. Um, um, and of course, uh, the next thing that you need to do once. Uh, you actually define these backup properties files is uh, basically just restart your uh, IA, IIS uh, 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 web server right there. Um, after that is done, uh, 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 it should be able, um, it should be possible for you to access your applications uh, uh, via the standard port 80. So you you notice that. Uh, uh, my XML UI application, for instance, is running on port 8080. So seeing that we've now uh, explicitly told IIS to uh, accept or to uh, pretty much uh, send requests, uh, uh, servlet and JSP requests uh, to our Tomcat container, uh, this should be able to work. There you go. So you notice that um, I'm, I'm running the standard port. Uh, I'm running this DSpace instance, the uh, standard port 8080. And just uh, so we know what we're doing is the right thing, we'll actually uh, also test um, the OAI uh, application to uh, to see if it works. Uh, um, there we go. So it works. Um, and you notice that uh, uh, things should be fine now. I, I hope I hope this uh, series of screencasts. Uh, um, will be of some, some help. Uh, uh, please feel free to uh, uh, leave a comment if you feel uh, there are certain things that uh, ought to be done differently or if there are easier ways of uh, um, uh, doing some of these uh, steps that I, I highlighted. Uh, good luck and thank you for